we're going orange today. Orange France. So I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it. Let me look it up. Pronounce like a French. Orange. 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 How to say orange? Orange. 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 We're going to Orange, France today. That's what the internet said. What is there to do in Orange, France? Um, there's the theater. There's a theater, a Roman theater. It's supposed to be one of the coolest Roman pieces in all of France. Ooh. All this theater is supposed to be one of the coolest Roman pieces in all of France. What else? Um, there is a church. There's a church. Cathedral. A cathedral. By church, she meant cathedral. There's a lot of stuff. Sounds like there's a lot of stuff. So we should be able to fill up the day nicely. Just spending a lot of time out here on this balcony too. I know we showed in our tour, but just can't really get over it. Let's check out this view. Very sweet. And I tried one of the grape wine, or the wine grapes yesterday. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but. It was very, very sour. I wouldn't say bad. I wouldn't eat it again, but I don't know. I feel like I just had to try one. I don't know how to shut this thing. It's really hard. You're gonna have to do it. Good morning, everybody. We are off to Orange. Or Hanhe, I don't know how to say We're it. We're just gonna call it orange. We're gonna call it orange so because it's spelled deal. orange and we have a word called orange in our language, so we're gonna call it orange. Um, I don't know if that's correct, but that's okay. It's only like 10 minutes from us and I heard there's free parking around and there's a lot of cool sights to see. It's a pretty historic town. So, we're gonna go there. I did my makeup today. It's probably why I look so different. I haven't done my makeup in weeks. But I love doing my makeup, so it was fun today. Um, and I curled my hair a little bit. It was already kind of curly just because we had been in the salt water and I haven't washed it. <laughs> but I curled it a little bit and I'm just feeling like a new person. We got ourselves a nice parking spot. We accidentally paid for eight hours of parking. <laughs> So we should have plenty of time to see orange. I think it's just around the corner. We saw it driving by, it looks pretty cool. Inside the Roman theater now. Um, supposedly this is like the most well-preserved Roman theater in all of Europe, which is pretty cool. It's kind of spinny, but we got this audio tour, so maybe we'll learn a thing or two. Pass it on your way. The theater played an important role in the life of the Romans. The stage wall was richly decorated with colorful marble plate. The classes did not mingle. The different seating sections were separated by walls. I'm a very bad listener, so I didn't learn too much <laughs> so far. What I did learn was that they used to have walls built here in the theater to divide the social classes. The lowest social class would stand in the back, and you couldn't get to the other sections 
through your own section, so they made it very like divided. And like the highest class was down at the bottom. Um, I learned that they did different music based on what kind of play it was. So they'd have like a chorus and orchestra for more dramatic plays, and for comedies they would just have um, musical instruments to go along. Um, what else did I learn? I learned that, well, first check out the statue over there. Right up there, there, that guy. That's a Roman emperor. And they would make these statues in Rome, and then they would ship them out to places like this to put them up in the different buildings. So they built this in Rome, shipped it out here, but they also built them to have the heads be taken off. So whenever a new emperor would come in charge, they would take the head off this one and then put the head of the new emperor on so they didn't have to make a brand new statue. That was kind of interesting. This theater is called Theater Antique de Orange. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's protected and it's supposed to be one of the Check. coolest Roman um, pieces. No, just pieces. Like anything to do with Roman history. It's supposed to be one of the coolest ones in Europe. So we debated whether to come in because it was kind of expensive, but I'm very glad that we did. I think that's going to do it for this theater today. Um, very, very cool. And they keep saying that it's one of the most well-preserved Roman sites in all of Europe, at least as far as theaters go. And I'm curious to see how this one would compare to the one in Ephesus. We've always wanted to go there in Turkey. Um, so I guess we're gonna have to go someday and find out and then we'll let you know. This is pretty cool. So we just left the theater, Antique de Orange, and it was very cool. Um, we didn't really listen to a lot of the audio guide because it was kind of boring, <laughs> but um, we're glad that we went in. I think it's definitely something we would have regretted if we didn't go in. So um, I'm glad we did. We kind of just hung out there and looked at it for a long time, but it was fun. I think we might head over to the museum. Our tickets also get us into the museum, so I think we're gonna head over there. Another cool thing that we learned that we probably should have known already just since it's a Roman settlement but uh, Orange was established in BC time which is just insane to think that you're walking around a city and then a, a building almost got run over by a car because I was talking to you guys but yeah like I was saying it's just crazy to be walking around a city that was established in the BC, t BC times and then be checking that puppy out that was I think that was that maybe was AD when that was built but that was pretty cool. And that the theater has gone through a bunch of different, Madison's taking me on a wild goose chase right now. It's been through a bunch of stuff, like it was burnt by barbarians, I don't know who the barbarians are. And then it was turned into like a prison for a while, then it was turned into a community that people lived in for a while. And then it's gone through a bunch of restorations, but it's still in pretty good shape for being like 2000 years old. That is going to be a wrap on orange for today. We might be back, not sure, but we are starving. It seems to be a pretty frequent occurrence that we're just not eating very regularly. We need to fix that because today it's hitting me pretty hard. I'm starving. So we gotta go stop by the store. We got to get bread. We got to get olive oil because we're out of olive oil. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna make our specialty. Back to the Airbnb. And we're back at the apartment. Got my big old bag of tomatoes because we are making the same thing we make almost every day. Just the tomato sauce. Possibly we made it in Croatia, I think is where you guys saw it. Um, we're starting to get a little bit tired of it, but it's, I don't know, it's just easy to make 
all the stores have it and it's cheap and it tastes good we're just starting to get a little bit tired of it so if you're tired of seeing it we're tired of eating it all right let me chop up the veggies And we don't have a cutting board, that's why I'm cutting on a paper towel. Then we gotta add the shallots. And then you gotta throw in a healthy amount of garlic. And then we're getting close, we gotta hit it with a lot of olive oil. That's good. Salt. Uh, let's see, that's probably good. And we gotta get the others. A little bit of rosemary. And oregano. Right there. And that's it. That's why we like this meal so much, because it's so simple. It's all like whole ingredients, which means it's good for you. A lot of produce. And scrumptious. So now we just gotta throw a lid on, simmer it, and we're done. Hello! What up, G thing? The dinner is finished. Finally, Kyle. like three hours later. Kyle I had did so it. many, sorry, about to keep talking. I had so many stove malfunctions. Unbelievable. That stove's not easy to use. Mm -mm. I was gonna say, but he did a great job with the pasta. Thanks. And we're so hungry. Actually, I kind of got to the point where I was so hungry that the hunger started to dissipate and I just started to feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We really need to get a better eating schedule. Yeah, this it's weird because back home, it would be like, and actually when we wake up early, and like back home I would be waking up early for work. <clears throat> it was like right when I woke up, I was ravenous and needed to eat food. Ravenous. No, seriously, like stomach growling, need to eat. And then right at like 11 o'clock, I would start to get super hungry again. And then after work, I'm like, oh, I need to eat right now. But then like, since I've been here, We've been like eating later and later and later that you kind of just get used to the hunger or something. I mean, I it's don't expensive. Know. The stupid car. I'm telling you guys, this car. We keep talking about it. And we're gonna give you the full breakdown. You've said it like seven times. I know, but it's just like we always think about the car. Yeah. So. Because like back, you guys saw in the beginning of our like, videos when we didn't have the car. I was like, out all the time. we would go out to eat. We go out and do things like we wouldn't feel bad about the $23 we just spent at the theater because we would still be under yeah budget. let's tell them about that so with the price of our car the airbnb we're left with only $15 no like 17 to be in budget $17 to make budget. budget for the day so then we get to that theater which is like the most well-preserved roman theater in all of Europe, and we actually had to like think about whether we were gonna go in, you know, and we almost didn't even go in. But we finally just decided like, why, we're not gonna not do something like that yeah. because we wanna make budget like. The feasible purpose of the trip. Exactly. And like, we know we only have this car for five more days, and after that, it's not gonna be a problem at all to do things like that, yeah. so we decided we need to just do it because we're gonna be sad if we don't do it. Yeah. I will say, so cool to go in super neat to look at and hear about and everything, but I would definitely say it's very overpriced yeah, that's a for off. what you get. I would still suggest to do it if you're there just because it's so cool and you kind of like have to if you're in orange. Or mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it. Orange. 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 <laughs> but the pricing is a rip off because also the audio guide is like so boring. Mm -hmm. So boring. We didn't even finish the audio guide because it was so boring. And like, you, their ticket also gives you entrance into the museum, which is really cool, but it also is another guided tour, which is gonna be boring. And so we didn't do the guided tour, but then everything is in French, so we didn't know anything other than dates. So maybe you could get your money's worth out of it, but we weren't there that long. And so I feel like it was a rip off. Also the last video, I just edited a video from Chinque Terre where we were eating in our outro and I was eating like a madman. Going like here. Crazy. I think I did it again. Mm -hmm. So let us That's know. That's just Kyle though. Let us know in the comments if I'm just going Kyle crazy. Kyle always finishes his meal like 
10 minutes before me because I talk too much. And he's just scooping food in, not even listening yeah, to what I'm saying. I don't even think I chew most of the time. I told you that before and you always tell me I chew enough. And now we have video footage. <laughs> now you know. Anyways, what do you think about today? What do you think about orange? Orange? Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. I don't know if I would come just for it. Unless you're big into like Roman history. architecture and Roman history, yeah. then I would probably say you probably already know about orange. Yeah. But we, I'm glad we went. Yeah. We are, sorry, were you going to say something else? I interrupted no. you. Are you sure? Mm. We are planning to go to Avignon, which is another big city close by. Well, it's not as close as Orange, but it's close by. And then we're going to plan to do, there's like these super famous trailheads somewhere around here. So I think we're going to do that. Are they famous? I didn't know they were famous. They made it sound like oh, it on the Airbnb listing. She just made up a fact for you guys. <laughs> I don't know. On the Airbnb listing, they made it sound like it was a big deal. That's good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. All right, I, guys. I think it's okay. I think this outro was longer than the rest of the video combined. Oh, yeah. So we are going to refill our olive oil so we keep eating our bread. We you guys so are going to like, comment, time. subscribe. Uh, and that's it for today. Next video will be in two days. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be fun though. <laughs> the other nice thing is this Airbnb is really nice to just like chill out. So we can like come back at night and just like yeah, and it's not a million degrees. All right, that's it. I'm plucking my eyebrows and it makes me sneeze. I also had a bit of a meltdown today because yeah, ooh. I didn't have a... <laughs> He's acting like it was a huge deal. Oh, let's get rich and buy your parents' homes in the south of France. I just got a free show with my singer.